はい。Let's get in really badly. Hello and welcome to my channel, Commas and Ampersands. My name is Sarah and today I am going to be unhauling some books. Whenever I talk about getting rid of my books on social media, there's always someone who comes out of the woodwork and is like, I don't know how you can possibly get rid of your books. My books are my babies. You're a monster. How could you? And I do kind of understand that viewpoint. <laughs> So I would like to stress that in this video, I am not just getting rid of books because I feel like it. I'm not just picking random ones off the shelf and be Leo and being like, you know what, that's it, I'm done. I am picking off books specifically because I either did not enjoy them in the first place, I enjoyed them but I don't think I would ever reread them, or I enjoyed them but I don't think that they would stand up to a reread and I feel like that would maybe kind of destroy that connection that I felt with the book in the first place. My reading tastes have definitely changed over the past five years since I've started blogging, so I just kind of have to be tough and I have to let these books go. Whether I sell them, donate them to a charity, or give them to friends, someone else will probably enjoy these books more than I have, so I think that's nice. I think it's nice to give them a second life. I will be going... <laughs> Stop it! Leo! <gasps> This cat, it tests me. So I will be going through my shelves from top to bottom and picking out any books that I know for sure that I don't want to keep. And I will also be looking through some of the maybes. And there's also a pile on this bookshelf here that I've already figured out that I'm going to unhaul. I'm not going to go through the specific reasoning for each and every book, but I will show you which books I am unhauling. Hopefully Leo will not knock over the camera again. And let's get started. Not that much, but it's still intimidating going through all of these. You can see some of it over here. These are in no particular order. I just pulled them out from wherever they were sitting on my shelves and I have several systems of organization. That's a hot mess. Let's go. The Bright Siders, Flawed, Heartless. I have two copies of this. One is from Our Crate, that's this one, and I also have a paperback copy that I got from the YA Chronicles. I wasn't blown away by this book so but I'm not sure if I'll like it more on a reread so I'll just keep the paperback copy that I'm more likely to reread and this one can go to someone else. This is where the world ends, Passenger, The Darkest Minds, The Masked Truth, The Intern, The Fifth Wave, everything's falling apart, Boneless Mercies, The Art of Taxidermy, If Birds Fly Back, The Next Together, Found, Ace of Shades. I have two copies of this and I'm getting rid of both because I did not enjoy this book at all. I think I gave it like two stars or something. American Gods. My second copy of Ace of Shades. P.S. I Like You. Everland. The Sandcastle Empire. From Twinkle with Love. Wild Beauty. Daughter of the Pirate King. The Glass Spare. The Upside of Unrequited. Lifelike. The Cruel Prince. Copy one. The Waking Land. Flame in the Mist. Frog Kisser. These Rebel Waves, The Secret Science of Magic, Girls of Paper and Fire, and my second copy of The Cruel Prince. This is the Outcrate exclusive cover, and if I remember correctly, this is worth quite a bit of money to a mortal like me. I'm not sure about The Sky in the Deep. I don't remember enjoying it, but everyone seems to love it so much, and I want to give it a second chance because it is Vikings and it is cool female characters, and this cover is just stunning, but... I don't know. I'm gonna put it on the maybe pile. Maybe I'll try and reread it one day and see if I like it better or if I was just like in a mood when I read it. Moving on to the books that are over here that I had already pegged for an unhaul and that were just sitting in there. Shadow of the Fox, The Bells, The Bogan Mondrian, Children of Blood and Bone, Birthmarked, Prized, Sleepy Hollow and Other Short Stories, Vassa in the Night, Zeros, The Rig, the Lake House, The Door That Led to Where, The Beast Within, A Year in Provence. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's French. Reboot, Pinocchio, 
By the way, Pinocchio is an absolute dick in the original story. Winter's Tale, Seven Stones to Stand or Fall, No Free Man, Moon Chosen, Daughter of the Burning City, Witch's Pyre, The Infinite Sea, The Other Side of Summer, Freaks, Between the Blade and the Heart, Palace of Fire's Initiate, and A Proof of Girls of Paper and Fire. And there are a couple of books that I had also paid for books on the rail, which is you basically put books on any kind of public transport system and people pick them up, they take them home, they read them, they bring them back. Everyone shares the love of books. Wuthering Heights, The Scarlet Letter, Great Expectations, The Looking Glass Wars, The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared, and In the Quiet. I am feeling pretty good about that. I think there's 68 books in total if I've counted correctly. I'm not sure about Sky and the Deep so I'm going to keep that for a little bit longer. Now I have to find a place to put these books until I am ready to sell them. But at least they'll be out of my shelves so I can, any books that I do read and that I do want to keep can fit in there properly. I'm back! So I filmed that initial video on Sunday and it is now Friday and I have realised that there are even more books that I could unhaul. Some of these I may have even rated quite highly, but I don't feel that I need them anymore. The other books that I have decided to unhaul are Lost in a Book, Batman Nightwalker, We Are Okay, The Fault in Our Stars, Finnegan of the Rock, The Book of Days, I Am Legend, Since You've Been Gone, Hunted, Marie Antoinette Serial Killer, The Unexpected Everything, Ballad for a Mad Girl, Pride, Demon Road, The Help, Holding Up the Universe, Bossy Pants, The Host, and Two Arcs, or Uncorrected Proofs, Tin Heart by Siobhan Plaza, and A Quiet Kind of Thunder. I did really enjoy these books, but I don't photograph them because they're not finished copies, so I'm considering buying finished copies of these ones. So that's another 20 books right there, which brings my current total up to 88 books that I have unhauled so far this year. I thought it would be harder than this, to pick which books to let go, but I'm still finding books on these shelves that I will probably unhaul after a reread. It's not bothering me, none of these books... I'm not looking at any of these books and going, oh, do I really want to get rid of it? I'm just... I'm fine with it. That's the weird thing to me, because I think I've gone so quickly from someone who wanted all the books in the world to someone who's totally okay with getting rid of nearly a hundred books in one fell swoop. But the important thing is that they are going to go and make somebody else very happy, I'm sure. And to me that is what a love of reading is about. It's not just hoarding all of the books whether or not you like them, it's also being willing to share those books with other people. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go and add these books to my own haul pile. If you have any questions about any of the books that I've decided to remove from my shelves, Leave a comment and I will get back to you and tell you a little bit more about why I don't feel like I need it. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.